Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist Valesti. Today we will see a new video in which we will synthesize oxalic acid. Uh, it is used uh, to bleach food uh, and also to remove uh, rust from objects. Uh, and then uh, organic acid is also a very strong acid for being an organic compound. Uh, and uh, you have to remember to handle it with care uh, because it can be uh, toxic. So let's see the reaction first. So guys, what we are going to use in this experiment uh, uh, is basically uh, two substances. One that is uh, nitric acid and another one is sucrose and also we will need some distilled water. So, uh, we want you to know something about uh, nitric acid. In particular, it can be extremely toxic because it produces nitrogen gases, uh, nitrogen oxide gases in particular, and so you have to um, use many precautions in order not to inhalate it. And also it is extremely corrosive, and because of this you have to wear gloves in order not to get harmed. So guys, the procedure of this experiment uh, is that we have to first to mix uh, uh, sucrose and nitric acid and in particular we have to take uh, uh, 25 grams of sucrose and um, 125 milliliters of nitric acid. So once we do this, uh, we uh, have to wait uh, in order to, um, that uh, all the sucrose dissolve in our nitric acid. And, uh, and once it uh, has dissolved, we have to heat up the solution uh, in order to make the reaction uh, begin. So we can see that this reaction is beginning uh, when uh, the solution turns to uh, red and we see um, a big amount of uh, nitrogen oxide uh, going out from our beaker. And once this happens, we just have to turn off the heating and wait for uh, the reaction uh, to, uh, to end. And uh, once uh, the reaction is over, we just have to boil the solution until it reaches uh, um, 40 milliliters of solution and uh, after this we have to add 40 milliliters of water. After this we have to continue our boiling process uh, until we are up to 25 milliliters of solutions and uh, after this we turn off the heating and let the solution uh, cool down. experiment uh, we have various reactions uh, and uh, the first one is between sucrose uh, and uh, nitric acid. Uh, in uh, this reaction which uh, is the first reaction is, uh, is a hydrolysis uh, uh, in which uh, sucrose uh, uh, transforms into uh, fructose and glucose uh, so that are the, monomer the monomers uh, that compose it. Uh, uh, this uh, fructose and uh, uh, glucose uh, will uh, be oxidized uh, by nitric acid uh, and uh, then we are going uh, to uh, obtain uh, in both cases uh, oxalic acid with some uh, impurities that are actually minor in this case. Uh, after that uh, we have to boil down uh, our uh, solution uh, up to, uh, until for, we arrive at uh, 40 milliliters. Uh, uh, during this uh, um, procedure, uh, we're going to see uh, red films uh, of uh, nitric uh, di dioxide uh, uh, forming uh, and uh, you should be very careful with them, of course. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, we are just going uh, to wash our uh, final result uh, in order to obtain a pure uh, compound. But we also have to know that in this way, uh, we're going to obtain less of this compound, which is oxide acid.
before the video ends, uh, we need to advise you a couple of things. Uh, uh, the first is that uh, if you uh, leave for too much time uh, uh, the auxalic solution uh, on the uh, oven, uh, you will notice that it uh, begins uh, to turn uh, red, uh, similar to the color of uh, nitrogen dioxide. Uh, and uh, so this is an advice not to leave it too much because they will, uh, they, because impurities uh, will form. Uh, and the other thing that we uh, want to tell you is that, uh, of course, uh, the compound that we obtain is an acid uh, and you can uh, easily verify it, uh, that uh, by uh, making it react uh, with a, a base uh, and in our case we are going to use uh, hydrogen carbonate. Okay guys, the experiment is over and we want to remember you that if you want to synthesize oxalic acid, usually you are going to spend more by doing this experiment as if going and buying it for a specialized shop because some of our reagents cost a lot like nitric acid. So if you like this video, please let us know in the comments and if you want to see more amazing experiments like this, go visit our channel and subscribe for it. So for today's all and thanks for watching.